Good day to you. My name is Maria Konjelska Koper, and today we are talking about human rights in Poland daily culture. Uh, with me on Skype is Aaron Rhodes, an international human rights activist and an expert and also an author of a book. Aaron, can you hear me? Yes, I can. And I, uh, there, you published this book uh, called uh, already in 2018, uh, the debasement of human rights, how politics sabotage the idea of freedom. And I would say that the, uh, the thesis of this book is even more true right now when we are facing, what we are facing, uh, in, especially in Ukraine, but also in China and uh, with the war was going on just right now started in, in, in Israel and Palestine, which is even uh, uh, more dramatic. And uh, so what went wrong with human rights? Well, I think there are two basic questions, um, challenges with, that re with regard to international human rights today. And one is the, the nature of the idea of human rights. What, what are human rights? The concept. And then the other, the, other, the other question is how to defend human rights. Uh, and the book that I wrote, uh, which was published in 2018, is really about the concept of human rights. And in this book, I talked about the idea of economic and social rights. And my uh, belief, my understanding is that these are really not human rights. They are rights that are provided by the state. And I'm not saying these are not important because modern industrial societies have to provide services to their citizens. But uh, to call them human rights is very damaging to the idea of natural rights to liberty because uh, that that is something that can be uh, objective. Uh, that, that these natural rights don't require the state to do anything. They require the state to not do something to restrain itself from interfering with uh, liberty. Whereas economic and social rights are, um, depend on the state. Uh, natural rights, the right to freedom, the right to uh, uh, freedom of conscience, uh, freedom of expression, freedom of association, these basic liberties um, uh, don't require state uh, programs. They require the state to respect the freedom of the individual, whereas economic and social rights require the state to take money from some parts of the population and give it to others. Uh, they, these are redistributive rights and they are rights that uh, really increase the power of the state, whereas natural rights are rights that constrain the power of the state. And the problem today in the international human rights system is that collectivist, uh, socialistic, and um, statist forces have flooded human rights with economic and social rights. And so that the basic right to liberty has been relegated to just a very small corner of the international human rights system. And um, uh, this, this, <laughs> this, is, this has made human rights into a kind of joke. Well, absolutely. So this is something which, of course, uh, for example, um, a lot of uh, conservative philosophers mentions uh, around five, six years ago, including Rogers, Roger Scruton as well, that uh, there's this bulb of like a uh, right for happiness, right of something, that it's right. uh, become bigger and bigger. And uh, this right. also gives huge power to the state. Uh, but it, there was a little bit funny five, five years ago because it was ridiculous and a lot of people could see it and was sort of part of a de debate. Uh, but right now what's happening um, is that the, uh, not that w while Europe and the Western world uh, is sort of debating about um, ab about uh, those uh, economical and social rights uh, for the citizens and giving even more and more power to the state, the, the natural uh, rights, the, hu the human rights in their essence uh, are broken uh, just uh, uh, behind the border of the European Union? Well, 
of course, um, you can't really think about, you know, preserving any kind of human rights in the situation of a war. And um, uh, uh, I'm afraid that uh, in, 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 in the, you know, the Western civilization, Western communities are now facing really strong adversaries. And I have always been very orthodox in the way I think about, especially the freedom of expression. But, the, but um, I think in a, in a war, and we are in a, in a kind of, we are in, a, in maybe a pre-war situation, but it's becoming a, a war. Um, uh, the situation is survival, survival of our way of life, of our civilization and of our, our basic institutions and um, our communities and families. And so in those situations, I mean, you, you can't expect every human right to be respected. Strategic questions uh, 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 do uh, in, intrude. And this is something very sad, what you said. I hope we'll develop this thought in the next episode. Aaron, thank you very much for sharing this all with us. Even though it's sad, but it's, it's great that we, we see sharp minds in the West who are realizing what's going on, and at least is showing the red flag that something is wrong on, I yeah. would say, two levels right now. And I do hope it will change. Yes. So to all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture, we very, I very strongly encourage you to, of course, read the book of Aaron Rhodes uh, about uh, the, the human rights. Uh, and of course, also to, to check what's going on right now in the real reality and especially Ukraine and Europe, just to realize because the information is so important and the good understanding of what's going on around us. And thank you for watching our show.